welcome back to my channel. Today we're making some delicious salad recipes. These are perfect for this time of year as it gets sunnier outside and the warmer months are gonna entice us to eat more salads and fresh cold meals. I've got some amazing dips to go with them as well as dressings so you can have them with the salads. These are great as a meal on their own or as a side. And as usual, all of the recipes are linked down below in the description box for you to follow along with. So I hope you enjoy. So the first recipe and salad is a fatouche salad and we're gonna be using pita bread for the croutons. We're having a courgette tahini dip, which is delicious, as well as a yummy dressing. And it's got lots of herbs and fresh ingredients, so it really tastes so delicious. So the first thing we're gonna do is split the pita bread in the middle and then put this in the oven with some olive oil to crisp up, and then we're gonna chop it up into little croutons. dressing we're going to use two cloves of garlic, three tablespoons of olive oil, the zest and juice of a lemon, half a teaspoon of pomegranate molasses or if you can't find that just use maple syrup, two teaspoon of sumac, quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon or mixed spice and then some salt and pepper and then whisk to emulsify or you can put this in a jar and shake it up. In a large bowl we're going to add a head of romaine lettuce, one red onion finely chopped, one red onion diced or green onion, or orange onion, not an onion, red pepper. Half a cucumber, diced. hundred and fifty grams of cherry tomatoes, chopped into small chunks. A bunch of radishes, sliced. A bunch of chives chopped, a small bunch of parsley, and a small bunch of mint, a teaspoon of sumac. For this salad, we're gonna make a Lebanese style courgette and tahini dip, starting with courgettes, which we're gonna roast in the oven, and then we're gonna add all the ingredients into the blender to make a really delicious side. Roast these in the oven for around 20 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna add the courgette into a food processor with the remaining dip ingredients. A tablespoon of tahini. This is liquid gold tahini, the best. A tablespoon of vegan yogurt. A teaspoon of cumin, a small garlic clove, zest and juice of a lemon, salt and pepper, and then a handful of mint and coriander. This salad smells so fresh and yummy. Mmm. This really reminds me of the salads that I would have growing up with my family at a barbecue. So I think this is absolutely perfect if you're having a barbecue this summer. Make this salad to share with everybody because it's just the perfect mixture of flavours. And then if you do the dip with it, then it means you've got a dip for all of the accompaniments with the barbecue. You could put it in the burger, you could have it with the salad on the side to dip the potatoes in. Oh, delish. So this recipe is a spicy tempeh salad. If you haven't had tempeh, do give it a go. Or you can swap this out for tofu if you really don't like tempeh, because I know it is a bit of a love-hate. It's just fermented tofu, and it kind of looks like loads of little pieces of big rice or orzo or something. 
um, or as Ali just said, what did you just say? <laughs> Vacuum packed corn on the cob. <laughs> So yeah, it's definitely a love-hate, but I personally love the taste. So give this a go, um, and it's got really delicious dressing, and it's just perfect as a quick meal. It's got loads of protein in it, so yeah. Really good for your gut as well, because it's fermented. So we're gonna marinate the tempeh in three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Use a mixture of dark and light. Dark adds a nice color. Half a teaspoon of curry powder, and then some salt and pepper. I thought this would get underneath it, <laughs> like not at all. And then I'll just pop this in here while I'm making the salad to marinate. For the dressing, you'll need half a lemon, the juice of, two tablespoons of olive oil. A sprinkle of chili flakes and some salt and pepper. So I'm just chopping up a head of broccoli and then we're gonna get some and then we're gonna get some sugar snap peas and just blanch them in some boiling water for around two minutes. So we're just gonna fry this in a pan until it's all nice and golden and meanwhile we'll prepare the salad. Four spring onions, 200 grams of tomatoes. Great, one carrot. I've got a nice purple carrot here from Riverford. Two sticks of celery, chopped up all small. 200 grams of bean sprouts. Half of an iceberg lettuce, shredded. A small handful of chopped coriander. And then a sprinkle of red chili if you like chili and then top it all with your tempeh. And you can add however much tempeh you like. You could do more than this, depending on who you're serving it for. I'm gonna have to eat one of those, sorry. So this bowl is all for me. <laughs> no, this is a huge portion. Was, this would be great if you're serving it for lots of people. But let's try this. Mm. Another great addition to this would be a sprinkle of sesame seeds. In fact, I'm definitely gonna put some on there. Like I mentioned, if you don't like tempeh, swap it out for tofu, it would taste really good. Or if you have like a vegan meat alternative that you love, that could also work too, but yeah. So we're gonna be making a Mexican corn salad, starting out with two corn on the cob. We're gonna cut all of the sweet corn from the husk and then we're gonna fry it up. We're gonna fry some garlic in olive oil in a pan. So whilst that's frying up, we're gonna make the dressing. I'm making one option for the dressing, but there are two options on the recipe, which is linked down below, so you can change it up. The zest and juice of a lime. A tablespoon of red wine vinegar, three tablespoons of olive oil, a clove of garlic, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and some salt and pepper. We're going to roughly chop a red chilli and add it into a large bowl, a bunch of spring onions, one red pepper. grams of cherry tomatoes, half a cucumber diced, and a small bunch of coriander and mint. And the zest and juice of another lime. An optional extra is some pomegranate.
So this recipe is an avo. So this recipe is an avocado, mango, and black bean salad. So very fresh, full of protein and flavour. And we're going to start by chopping up half of an iceberg lettuce. One mango. Fun fact, I can't feel this tip of my finger because I cut through it with an avocado. So now I use the trick, I don't know if you just saw it there, where when this is in here, you just push it out like that so you don't have to use a knife because that was an injury that I wouldn't want anyone to experience. So be careful <laughs> when chopping your avocados. grams of cherry tomatoes, a tin of black beans drained and rinsed, a red onion, I've just done half because it was a really big one, the zest and juice of a lime, a teaspoon of sumac and optional is some chilli flakes. Three tablespoons of yogurt and add in a garlic clove. A tablespoon of coriander and mint, finely chopped. The zest and juice of a lemon. A teaspoon of mango chutney. A sprinkle of chili flakes and some salt and pepper. so much for watching I hope you enjoyed all these recipes definitely let me know down below which ones you're going to be enjoying first or which ones you like the look of the most as I mentioned at the start all the recipes are on my website which will link down below and make sure to tag me on Instagram if you recreate any of these as I always love to see it so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye